Senate Tower. I've never actually been inside before. I'm looking forward to it. Command sending out new tactics all the time. Stay sharp out there. Demorati Haivo, Semper Finst Jun, Unisan, Dumul Daniel Nord. Thank you for coming on short notice. I'm Senator Venara Kale. Forgive my abruptness, but time is a luxury I don't possess. As you may have heard, Coruscant is overwhelmed with refugees fleeing Imperial tyranny. Many have been here since the war. 
The refugees took over the old galactic market sector, huddling in shops and warehouses that were abandoned during the sacking of Coruscant. They refused to leave. Is the Republic doing anything to provide for these refugees? Resources are scarce. There's only so much we can do. As so often happens when fear and poverty dominate, a criminal element has risen to take advantage of the situation. The Migrant Merchants Guild began as a political advocacy group for refugees. Over the years, it transformed into a ruthless and murderous criminal syndicate. As if these people didn't have enough problems, now they're being controlled by gangsters. These criminals exploit the very people their guild allegedly protects. They rule through intimidation and extortion. The Migrant Merchants Guild has grown increasingly hostile and violent. Their criminal enforcers have acquired military-grade weaponry. Earlier today, their thugs took to the streets. They attacked our security personnel, set fires, began rioting. We're facing an armed insurrection. You just described the last enemy I fought. I need your expertise, Lieutenant. We can't rule out the possibility of Imperial influence. For generations, the old galactic market was Coruscant's central trade hub. Its importance isn't merely economic. It's a symbol of the Republic's freedom. The comm channels are jammed. We've lost contact with our security forces. I need your help ending this crisis. The criminals must not win. I'll push those gangsters to the bottom of Coruscant if that's what it takes. Burying them may be our best option, Lieutenant. Do whatever you must to save innocent lives from that criminal filth. Find my security chief, Captain Winborn. He'll help. Good luck. Yes, Senator, that's exactly what I'm saying. I can assure you that I've seen no shred of proof supporting these rumors of a defection within Spec Force Division. General, surely you understand. We need more than just your assurances in a matter of this... My assurances are what you're getting, Senator. They'll have to be enough. Now, if you'll excuse me, I seem to have a guest. But, General... Impeccable timing, Lieutenant. I'm General Garza. It's good to finally meet you in person. It's an honor to be here, General. I have to congratulate you. Surviving the ordeal on Ord Mantell took skill and courage. I'm impressed. Just doing my duty. All the same, you got more done than most other soldiers would have in a situation. Sergeant Jorgen, I'm pleased to have you with us as well. General Vander holds you in very high regard. Thank you, sir. But General Vander has an odd way of showing his regard. Vander did the best he could for you, Sergeant. And I'd say a position in the Republic's most decorated Special Forces squad is doing very well indeed. It's regrettable about Tavis and the others. I knew they were upset, but I never imagined they would be so foolish as to defect. Nevertheless, whatever your former squad mates once were to us, they are now extremely dangerous enemies of the Republic. Protecting the Republic from its enemies is our duty. I'm glad I can depend on you to do what's necessary, Lieutenant. So, let's load up a strike shuttle and hunt Tavis and the rest of them down like the scum they are. I would very much like to give that order, Sergeant. But I'm afraid we've discovered some new information since you left Ord Mantell. Our intelligence shows that hundreds of other Special Forces soldiers have followed Tavis and defected to the Empire. In short, Lieutenant, we have a catastrophe on our hands. What's the plan? We have one powerful asset that Tavis and his followers haven't planned for. You. Tavis believes you're dead on Ord Mantell, and that Havoc's defection is still a secret. Right now, Tavis will be securing his armament and supplies. We need to cut those supply lines while he isn't expecting it. Tavis is with the Empire now. Wouldn't they keep him supplied? The Sith Empire welcomes our defectors, but they're not going to equip men whose loyalty isn't proven. Tavis will need other sources. In the past, when Havoc needed supplies outside of the normal Republic channels, they purchased the items from underworld groups here on Coruscant. 
I have units working to cut off these underworld sources, but two organizations are proving difficult. The Black Sun and the Migrant Merchants Guild. I'll take care of these people for you, sir. You'll begin with the Migrant Merchants Guild. Our intelligence indicates that they're supplying Tavis with a full platoon of advanced war droids. Your mission in the broad strokes will be to locate the droid shipments going to Tavis and destroy them. I'll see it done. One of my people, Corporal Garum, will meet you outside the Migrant Merchant Guild's territory with the full operational details. These missions are critical, Lieutenant. Our future success or failure is contingent on how well supplied Tavis and his followers are. I won't fail. Good. The safety of the entire Republic depends on your success. I'll be observing your operations from here through your armor cam. Good luck, Lieutenant. Dismissed. Select an available travel route. Have a safe and pleasant stay.
Pardon me, soldier. On behalf of Senator Dolly Burbark, I praise you for your service and ask a moment of your time. The Senator sent me as his representative, though he'd prefer to be here himself. He loves to walk among his people. The Senator sounds like a wonderful man. Oh, he's the most wonderful man I've ever met. Today, the Senator sent me to find brave and loyal citizens to help with a security crisis. It involves his work to restore the Republic to glory by re-establishing our technological superiority. Superior research and development is one of the keys to victory. Absolutely. Senator Bark believes technology is the key to strengthening our military and re-establishing our healthy economy. Recently, the Senator arranged to acquire a shipment of computer chips, advanced hardware that could create whole new industries for the Republic. Unfortunately, the shipment was hijacked by the Migrant Merchants Guild. Now, Republic security is afraid to take on the Guild's thugs. You're looking for outside help? Exactly. The Senator says this issue is really over security's head anyways. Recovering the shipment of chips from the Guild would be a great service to Senator Bark and the Republic. Serving the Republic is what I do. I can see you're a man of action. Perfect for this job. I'm glad I found you. To find out where the Guild has hidden the Senator's shipment, you'll have to speak with Security Captain Denel Zahn. He ran the investigation. Then return the shipment to Senator Bark's office in the Senate Tower. I'm sure he'll want to thank you personally.